Tip number 40. Use the cheap manufacturer support as few as possible. And now all the people are working in support, they are saying, Yes, yes, I love this tip, yes! Finally! <sighs> no, the main reason is not to help the people working in support. The main reason speaking about this tip is because... Uh, I don't know how to say it. I don't want to be negative, but, you know, support is useless, okay? In most cases, support is useless. All the supports, not only cheap manufacturer support. You may remember the last time when you called your internet company and asked them, asked the support to fix something. <laughs> Happened to me, yeah, useless. Okay, let's not be so negative. Sometimes it is useful. In few occasional cases, you may get something uh, like, I think last time when it was useful, I uh, I asked for a software which was not available on the internet and they sent me the software, so it was useful. But in most of the cases, the kind of answer what you may get from support is, uh, see the data sheet on the page here and it says this blah 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 yes you know that because you already read it two weeks ago but it's not clear that's why you ask them but it looks to me like uh, the people doing the support they have access to the same documents what you have and everything what they do they do exactly what you normally do yeah they just search through the documents so this kind of support you can do it by yourself you don't need to ask them and wait for weeks for their answer if you are not sure yeah, still there may be situations when you are not sure and you really would be uh, some good support would be really helpful but even in these situations you don't need to ask many boards what we design we never ask anything to any support and uh, and we design quite complicated boards so if you are not sure and you cannot ask the support what you are going to do what do you think be prepared for different situations so many times you are asking because you are not sure if a pin is going to behave this way or this way yeah, this is example so you have two different solutions or two different situations and you are not sure which one is the correct one so what you can very easily do you can add some components or some circuit or something into your schematic which will support both situations and you don't need to ask the support you don't need to wait for useless answer for two weeks you can just do it immediately and continue working on your project that's what we do many times so just if you are not sure about the situation add support for bot or for you know usually these are bot sometimes there may be more situations which you are not sure may happen but just try to find a solution which could fit to all the different situations again not all the support is bad okay but from my experience i almost never get anything useful from support so don't waste your time asking them questions which you can fix or find by yourself tip number 40 use the cheap manufacturer support as few as possible why in most cases they will not help you 